Do you find yourself never having enough space to take the photo that you want? Either you have to always find yourself moving backwards, lifting your camera at a weird angle to try to get a little more wide optic, or do you find yourself bumping into strangers or walls, trying to back up to just get all your friends in your camera shot? Or have you ever been to a sporting event or a concert or something and said, man, I wonder what's going on down there because your seats are so far away and when you take a picture, it looks blurry and really zoomed in because you're just too far? Well, I have an answer for you today on this three-in-one product review right now. Welcome back everybody. So today's product review, we're actually going to do three in one. So three different products in one product review. And the goal is to make it all around about getting the right shot on your cameras. Today we're going to focus on three different products. The first one is this Vivitar 0.43x professional wide angle lens with macro, which is actually on the camera right now. Hence why you see the wider angle right now. And I'll show you what the difference is here in a second. We're also going to cover something for the mobile devices. This is the 4K HD wide angle lens macro that you can use on a mobile device. I actually haven't opened the box yet. Um, there's different additional pieces that you can use as well, so I'll try to cover as many of those uh, as well. And then lastly, this for your cell phones, as I mentioned, if you're having issues because of distance and you want to make something look a little bit closer and, you know, as you zoom in with your mobile device, it always seems that you lose quality, right? You sacrifice quality for closeness. Well, this is a monocular here um, that I purchased that we'll take a look at what the value is and you connect this right onto your phone and it'll give you closer shots for further distances. So we'll take a look at this as well. Now, really quickly, if it's your first time checking out a product review here on the Balancing Act Chronicles, we'll always like to mention that we're not gonna get too deep into the technical aspects of it. We want it to be quick, down and dirty to make sure that you know and if you're going to spend any money on this, is it worth the price of what you pay, right? So if you're going to spend five, 10, 15, and I'll also list the prices of these items uh, on the screen, as well as put links in the description below. Yeah, you can click on it. Uh, so you can see where they are on Amazon or eBay where I bought them. And that way, if you're interested in them, you can buy them right off of those links. So let's get right to it. So the first product I want to talk about is this Vivitar 58 millimeter wide angle macro. Uh, and I've taken it off of the camera right now so you can see this is about again a little over three feet away from me um, and as you can see now this second monitor on this side is kind of cut off you can't see the door anymore and what this macro does is uh, because the lens the kit lens that comes with this camera the Canon SL2 which again I'll put a link to below as well if you're interested in the camera is 18 millimeter to 55 millimeter uh, lens and really that just talks about the distance at which things need to be for it to fit in a shot right so right now because the camera is a little bit over three and a half maybe three and a half feet away from me it can't really get as much like you can't see my hands right now right uh, it can't get as much so what this is if you don't want to spend hundreds if not sometimes thousands of dollars on different uh, lenses to make sure that you can get every angle They've come up with these adapter lenses that you can use, which kind of give you more of an angle to help you get the shots that you want at not much of a big price. So this particular one, I believe was under $20 and I'll put it up on the screen right now um, what, where, I, where I got it from. But I want you to see the difference now, right? So if you want to see what this does, again, my thumb is right here, thumbs up, right off the camera, right? I'm gonna put this macro on, and you see how it's in the camera now. Again, I haven't moved my arm. So what I wanted to show you is how this angle gets more in. Now you can see the full monitor. Of course, I'm holding it. I haven't screwed it on. You can see the left side of my desk so you can see the whole, uh, both poster boards above me. If I do that, they're gone, right? So this wide angle macro gives you an opportunity to get more of the image around the camera without having to spend hundreds of dollars on an extra lens. Now this is a two-in-one, which is one of the things I love about it, right? So I'm gonna actually stop for a second here to thread it on so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just finished threading it back on. So now you see everything, right? I can even get my arms pretty wide here. Um, and I'm, I'm actually even closer to the camera this time now. So if I scroll back, you'd see a lot more. Um, but anyway, 
but I love this this lens, this macro lens because it has that two in one. So now I'm gonna unscrew the first cap of it so you can see what happens and then I'll take it off so you can see what it was that I did. Okay, so bear with me guys. Okay, so I took it off now. You're probably like, what am I seeing? This is the actual uh, second part that I took off and I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see what it does. This is the second part of it. It actually is a microscope as well. So if I put my thumb here, you'll actually get to get much closer on your images than you normally could with the camera. So I know this is kind of blurry and probably bothering your eyes, so I'm gonna put it back on here. Uh, all right, so I know that probably bothered your eyes a little bit, so I switched it off. But you see in my hand, this piece right here actually creates that microscope effect, right? So if I put this on the camera, then I put my hand there, you'll see you can actually see pretty close to my skin, much closer than the camera can actually do on its own. Then once you add this layer on, this is the wide angle lens. And now you do need to have both of these connected to actually get that wide angle lens through the Viviton. There you go. Okay, so I've got, got it all back on there. And again, for the price, I think it's way worth it, especially if you do vlogging like this, or you have large family events where you wanna get as much of it going on. If you're, if you're taking a video and you wanna have someone like myself right now talking, but you also wanna get the image in the background, this macro lens is actually worth it. And again, for under $20 versus per se buying a lens that's over a hundred dollars sometimes thousands as I said if you want to get every angle that you want or if you want to zoom in that duality that two-in-one on this lens makes it worth the price to me and something that I recommend if you have a DSLR a mirrorless camera so yeah I definitely get a thumbs up for me for this Vivitar uh, there's this nice little black slug right here on the floor and I figured why not show you the difference between how close your camera can get versus using that macro lens on this camera uh, to make sure that it's not blurry. But as you can see, this is what it looks like with the wide angle lens. Now I've taken off the wide angle lens and instead I'm just using the kit lens that come with the camera so you can see the same slug uh, walking along gingerly. And I'm, I'm pretty close as you can see. Now I get close, it gets blurry, right? It doesn't look as cool the closer I get to the slug. Now this is what it looks like using that macro. You can actually see his facial features, right? Like, I mean, I'm pretty much able to tell is he smiling right now. Uh, so it's pretty cool what you can do with this. And the reason why you see some bouncing is because I'm actually squatting down as I take this shot. But pretty cool how close you can get with this macro uh, two-in-one. So now we'll jump over for mobile devices. And like I said at the start of this video, sometimes when you're trying to get a great video or picture image with your phone, you always feel like you don't have enough space or you have to constantly keep moving back to try to get as much of it as, as you can in the shot. It's very similar to what we talked about with this Canon camera itself, right? There's a certain distance that you must be at to fit within the, the range of the, the lens on your camera. Um, the same thing applies to the camera on your phone. So, Similarly to the macro that I just demonstrated here with this DSLR, they also have them for mobile devices. So this one here is the Ike Global, I'll put the name right there on the bottom, uh, 4K HD wide angle lens, super macro lens. So that's what the box looks like and I'll adjust it here so you can read it. There you go. But this is my first time opening it. I haven't opened it. I've had it for over a week and a half. So. Well, um, like I said, although we don't do traditional unboxings here, let's have some fun and see what's in it. Okay, so it's a pretty big box uh, for just a small amount of items. As you can see here, um, it's pretty much just this adapter. Uh, we'll show you how that works here in a second. A lot of foam, unnecessary foam, but they want to protect that lens. Then a box cover. Underneath that box cover you have the clip which goes on your cell phone, which I'll show you again how it looks like. And a nice little carrying bag as well as some manuals, uh, a manual in there. Okay, so it's a pretty big box uh, for just a small amount of items. As you can see here, 
Um, it's pretty much just this adapter. Uh, we'll show you how that works here in a second. A lot of foam, unnecessary foam, but they want to protect that lens. Then a box cover. Underneath that box cover you have the clip, which goes on your cell phone, which I'll show you again how it looks like. And a nice little carrying bag as well as some manuals, uh, a manual in there. All right, so hopefully you found those, that imagery of the slug who's still slowly working his way across my patio here. Uh, pretty interesting. So back to this Ike Global for the mobile. And again, it's a 4K HD wide uh, macro, right? So it comes with this, which is the actual uh, lens itself, as well as a clip. Now, the, it's very simple. We're gonna take this back piece off right here. Right? And that's what opens up so you can see the, through that lens. You take this clip and you're literally just gonna screw it on. So I'm actually, might be hard to see there, but I'm screwing on this back piece. And then you take off the cap on the other side. Ooh, almost broke it right there, guys. That would have sucked really bad. Okay, so just like the, the macro uh, on the camera right now, this also has that duality where we can get really close with one and then get the wide angle with the other. So you do need to have both on um, to get. Okay, so I'm screwing it back on. So you see now this is what it looks like, right? Here's the clip where it opens up and what I've done is I'm going to try to do a dual angle shot here. I'm going to record myself at an angle, but then at the same time, I want to show you what my phone is doing. So uh, this is my mobile device. Grab this clip. You're literally clipping it right over your camera lens, right? So I'm going to step over here and show you guys what a shot looks like without this and then what happens when you add this on and see if it's worth the price paid. So let's do that now. So I'm now on my mobile and you can see hopefully there's a dual camera over here uh, recording me so you can see this is as far as I am from this bush tree here, right? If I wanted to get more of the angle around it, what's the first thing I'm going to do? The step backwards, right? Because stepping backwards gives me the opportunity to get more into the angle, but it still seems like I'm going to have to walk pretty far. I'm actually out of the camera already as you can see on the other end, so I'm going to move back into it. Uh, it, and I, you're hearing the audio coming through that lapel microphone, which I did a review of, which is right above, right now, in case you want to check that out. So now I'm going to switch onto the macro. So this is the macro going on and you do have to do a little bit of work to find the placement on your camera. It looks a little bit blurry here only because I'm recording as I'm trying to do it. So you see, I get more of the angle. I actually can see my neighbor's trees. Uh, the, the angles are a little bit blurry as I mentioned because I didn't take any time to work with this beforehand. But you see, I didn't have to move anywhere to get a wider shot. If I did move back, I'm going to get even more into the shot, right, slightly. So this wide angle macro makes it so that I can still get the full tree, the grass on the ground, my neighbor's tree in the background, and I don't even have to move anywhere. So I don't have to bump into any walls or any people accidentally. Now I also did say that this camera lens does have that duality of being a macro and a micro. So our buddy the slug is still walking around. I'm actually going to take a second here, unscrew the, the macro portion so we can get down and see at his level what he's seeing. Okay, so correction, this is the macro. The other piece was the 4K HD wide lens. So now we can even see our buddy slug's face. And this is all on my mobile device. So I'm actually down on the floor using a lapel mic. Hopefully the audio is coming through clear. But this is how close you can get, uh, much closer than you could with a mobile device to see all the aspects of whatever it is that's that tiny. Alright guys, so I'm back from outside. Uh, hopefully that demonstrated the capability 
of that macro lens and that 4K wide lens that come in that package. Just grabbing it here again so you can see. Uh, I believe on Amazon it's under $30. Um, I did personally use a Vipon code and if you're curious and want to know what Vipon is, I can definitely do a product review on Vipon itself. Um, but a great opportunity to get discounts on items on Amazon. As long as you're willing to, well, you don't have to review them, but if you can, the, these are coming from folks who are trying to build up their, their brand and build up their product inventory and brand awareness, right? So product reviews is what helps. One of the reasons why I do this as well is, hey, it's great to get it on a discount, but is it actually worth it, right? So that's what we focus on here. And I would absolutely say that for the price that I got it for, and I got it for under $10 using the Vipon coupon that I got, it is most definitely worth it. For under $30, still worth it. These mobile devices in our pockets are becoming more and more powerful every year as they release new versions. Some of the cameras in our phones are actually better than some of the digital cameras that we have in our houses. So imagine if buying one of these macros for about $24 can actually create additional shots without need for lens or anything else and, and give you kind of more functionality with your camera that's not already built in to the mobile device. Well, I think it's worth it even under $30. So um, highly recommend this as well. So for a comparison for this Ike Global for the price, I paid about a dollar and fifty cents for this on the Walmart. Uh, I paid about a dollar fifty for this in the Walmart marketplace from a third-party vendor uh, just to test it out. I said, "Hey, it's a dollar and fifty cents. Let's get it." Similar situation in terms of the wide lens and a macro. Terrible. Uh, so terrible that I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, doing that and, I, and that's why I think that for the price the Ike Global is absolutely worth it as well And lastly for this three-in-one product review I talked about how sometimes we'll go out to a sporting event a concert and trust me We can't all afford those floor seats right to get the best shots at a concert So sometimes we're going to be sitting a little further up or further away where even though your eyes give you a great view sometimes you want to get it on Instagram or on YouTube somewhere where you want other folks to see it or even if you want to share it in your chats a little video but it seems really far away so instead you use the zoom on your camera or usually your mobile device right uh, to get in as close as you can but when you get there it's very blurry um, it's the pic it's very pixelated you can't see much of it you lose some of the color saturation so you're wondering what was the purpose of recording that right well this monocular here that I have in my hand um, which I believe was under $30. Um, I'll put it here on the screen now. I'll link for it. But it comes with this monocular, which is, yep, you can actually see right through this monocular. Um, and I'll show you how it came, first of all. So it came separated. This is the monocular, which is like a lens, a telescope for the eye. Um, it does, you can, just like a, if I was a pirate in the Caribbean, uh, searching to see what's on another ship you can do that and then it came with this adapter piece now this adapter piece um, this creates a small hole lens as you see there and that's to connect to your mobile device and this is a clip to hold on near to your mobile device this part right here is threaded as well so you can thread it right onto a stand so I went and got the stand really quickly, the UV size uh, tripod that you see me talk about in other videos, under $20, and it's super awesome, it's flexible, you can use it however you want. So you can see, I can thread it right on, um, and once it's threaded onto the stand here, and of course I did it the most awkward way possible, you add this monocular to it, you grab your mobile device, and you would line up the camera with the hole here as you see lens with the hole here it's going to give you a zoom where you'll be able to see much further away and i believe it's 40 times 10 times to 40 times depending on where you adjust the zoom on this how far you can look so i'm going to switch over to the mobile device now so you can see what it looks like um, when you go from zooming normally on the camera the regular uh, view from the camera the regular view once you've added this attachment and then what if you zoom on both right it'll, it'll, it's 
it's obviously a little bit scary at that point, but we'll still look at it anyway. So let's get to that now. All right, guys, so you can see that tree there in the background, um, a little ways away from here. Here's the setup for that. So if I'm trying to get as close as I can to that tree, just using the zoom here on the camera, you'll see I can zoom in pretty far. Uh, you can see the tree, but it's blurry. Can't really see, there's a lot of shadows in there. So not the best approach. Let's connect it here to this monocular and see what we can get. Okay. So now you see it's catching my fence uh, because I haven't moved it yet. One thing that I do want to say about these, and it's kind of one of the immediate downfalls of this, is you do want to have them on a stand because using them with your hands will actually make that shaking effect. And because it's zoomed in so far, uh, it's going to make even the slightest bit of wind as you see right here. The wind just moves it a little bit. And it's not the easiest to work with in terms of this stand and where your button placement is. I wanted to say all of those things before showing you the shot of the tree because there are some downsides to this uh, and I will talk about that shortly. Okay, so that is the same tree that we were just looking at. So as you can see, um, I'm adjusting it slightly so we can get in there. Um, you know, we're still getting similar shadows. Now I can zoom in even more, but I'm holding the stand properly so we don't get that blurry. Uh, there you go, guys. As you can see, you're getting that, that shakiness effect um, because I'm not adjusting the stand. So let's pause this video. Okay, so I adjusted the stand. And sorry for the noise in the background. There's a lot of uh, grass cutting going on today. But I'm zooming in so we can see uh, what we get. And again, it doesn't look great right now, and obviously shooting into the sun is not a great idea in the first place. Um, uh, it's an overcast day, it's not actually that sunny. So it's creating that shadow effect. But if we went a little bit lower on the tree, where we didn't have that overcast sky behind it, you see we can get in pretty close. Um, and let's zoom in a little bit, see if we can get anything out of this. Yeah, you can see we can get some decent... I'm getting bit up by bugs over here. <laughs> uh, but you can get in pretty decent. And like I wanted to show how powerful the zoom is on this. Like I can zoom in pretty far. And as you can see, the, cl the further out you zoom, the the more easier it is. There's actually nothing shaking this. It's on a table, on a stand. Um, there's really no wind out here, but because of how far you're zoomed in, any sort of wind uh, makes it seem like it's the end of the world. So. Okay, so after several adjustments, this is what it looks like when you uh, zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, and you can pretty much see that if I could keep this still, uh, with the without the wind interrupting and you know of course you can do some manual fixes to, to tighten this up a little bit uh, if there was a if there was a squirrel in that tree building a nest I can actually watch it from that dis this distance um, so it's great for nature watching it's great for a sporting event if you can't really see that far down I don't think you're gonna get high quality videos from this but still worth it if you just wanted it for those purposes. All right guys, so we're back in the house now. Um, so you guys saw what this was like. Do I think it's worth the price? Well, it really depends on the user. This is one where I'm gonna say, if you're like me and you go to a lot of sporting events, and even if it's just helpful to be able to see something from further away, it's pretty much a little monocular telescope that you can use. You can get some pretty good shots of things you do have to do a lot of work to get there between adjusting to make sure that it actually falls on the the lens uh you know putting it on a stand because holding it for for handheld shooting any movement even this subtle will make this shake because of the zoom distance so you know you're not going to get uh, a shot like you're getting right now me with a stand on a camera from you know, 100, 200, 300 feet away using this monocular. 
So again, you have to have realistic expectations. So for the common everyday man who just wants to use it to watch a sporting event or get a decent shot of something at a concert event, or you know, if you're out in nature and you wanna just have this there, um, if you're observing nature, I think for the price it's worth it. Uh, there's obviously much better ones at higher prices that you know come with better setups. Um, so I would say that this is a toss up guys whether or not you should actually get this. Um, but you can't win them all, right? Well, that was this week's, um, well that was this product review again, this three in one focused really on cameras, lenses and like getting wide angles, zoomed in shots. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, click that like button below. If you already subscribed, thank you again for, for turning. If you're not, you can click the subscription button right there. Uh, and make sure you hit that little bell notification to be notified when videos like these and others come about. Thank you again. Comment below with any suggestions on products that you'd like for us to review here. And we'll see you next time. Salute.